Welcome back to Talking Dragon Age, the show where I talk about Dragon Age. This is another episode about Solus, more specifically the role he'll play in the next game. We know what he plans to do, but not how he plans to do it. And all the while, he has other things to worry about besides the obvious. Before we get to that, I want to address Solus' spy network. Yeah, that's an inconvenient thing to say in conversation. So instead, Solus' spy network shall henceforth be known as the Wolf Pack. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we can start looking into Solus' character. The first thing we need to understand about him is that he is a genius. That's what I think will make him a great villain. The fact that his main source of power is not his magic, but his intellect. Although, his magic still is pretty powerful. Uh. So, yeah, he'll be a formidable opponent, but there's more to him. At the end of Trespasser, we're left with a choice to either redeem Solus or simply try to stop him. This choice probably doesn't matter much at the moment, since it will ultimately be up to the new protagonist. But still, we, the players, will need to decide what to do here. Personally, I think we can still save him. Here's why. Solus doesn't want to hurt people. He isn't that kind of wolf. Solus doesn't want to hurt people. He isn't that kind of wolf. Yeah, see? He wants to save his people. That's it. His love for the people and hatred of the Evanuris have colored his perspective to the point where he truly believes that this is the only path he can take. Now, I mentioned this before, but I'm not sure I buy Solus' story of the Evanuris. The idea that all of them were fickle, arrogant, and corrupt just seems so... not... eh. Rather, I think he may have used the actions of some to condemn them all. We've only heard Solus' side. We haven't even heard Mathal's, really. Now, granted, Solus did imprison them for about 2,000 years, so regardless, I don't think they're going to be in much of a talking mood when they get out. Assuming they haven't all gone insane, I'm pretty sure they're at least not the people they used to be. So aside from them, he'll also need to worry about the Blight. Along with the Blight comes the problem of Archdemons, the Seven Magisters, and the Grey Wardens. Solus is always upset about the Wardens and their desire to slay Archdemons. We still don't really know why. All we have are theories. Some say their souls are Alluvian Keys, some say they're actually the Evanuris, some say their purpose has yet to be proposed. An argument can be made for each of these, and I'm not even sure which one I believe. I'll probably make a video for them at some point, but for now all I can say is that they probably factor into Solus's plan in a large way. But, if I'm right about this, how cool would it be if Solus just pokes and nudges the Wardens just a little bit to send them over the edge into civil war? Because, whatever else you call him, he is the trickster. But the Grey Wardens aren't all. Let us remember what else is going down. The Kunari. The Trespasser epilogue says that the Kunari are returning their focus to Tevinter, and remember what the Kunari wanted in Trespasser, to strengthen the Vale and stop Fen'Harel. Now, I do not trust the Kunari, but the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, as far as Solus goes, can we afford not to accept their help? I can absolutely see that being a major choice in the next game, either accepting their help or refusing it. And I think that would be a good decision to have to make. One where you know there will be benefits and consequences to either choice, and you just have to hope it works out. So what about Tevinter? Well, Dorian and Mayveris will probably be very important allies. We can't really know how they can help until we get more information, but I think it's safe to say that allies in the Imperial Court will be necessary. Maybe we'll need to pick a side between the Imperium and Canari, or find some way to negotiate peace. I can't really see either side going for that, though. Uh, we may also need to deal with Navara and Ravain, since Navara has been actively feuding with Tevinter for years, and Ravain isn't on the best of terms with the Canari. 
My only concern here is that that might make the game too big and retract from the other stories in the process. But I think that's a topic for another day. I, I could talk about this for hours. The Canari and Imperium are the only ones I can say for sure will play a large role in the game. So with that in mind, where are we? Okay, so Solus needs to deal with the Grey Wardens, so the protagonist will probably need to save them. We'll also need allies among the Kunari and the Imperium. Once we have those things settled, then we can take the fight to Solus and the Wolfpack. Something remains unclear, though, and that is Solus' plan, specifically. I'm confused here. We, we know what he wants to do, and we know how he planned to do it. But that changed when Corypheus survived, and the Inquisitor got the anchor. His new plan required him to gain access to the Alluvians, and to steal what was left of Nathal's power. They killed Nithal. <laughs> A crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. Sure. Anyway, he has much more power now, but I don't think he has enough. Because he says his original plan was to simply use the orb and the anchor to enter the Fade, but he also says that his agent was meant to gain access to the Alluvians from Briala. But if he didn't need them, why did he bother? And if he did need them, why did he wait until after the fact to take them for himself? He was awake for a whole year before he lost the orb. So, yeah, I'm confused. Regardless, we know he's missing something. Whether it's power, some sort of artifact, or tying up loose ends, he's not ready to tear down the veil. If he was, he'd have done it already. Which is conveniently fortuitous, because that buys us time and a whole other game. So, I think that's about it for this episode. It's a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Okay, so uh, coming up on this show, um, I'll be doing a video for Romances, one for The Void, and I'm really excited to make one for The Canary. And I'm thinking about making a series of short episodes for my personal choices and why I made them. Like, who rules or lay, why I chose them, what I did with Anders, what I did with Loghain. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, Tala Nadas. Mm -hmm.